All right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad... That didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's, uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more... of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. No! They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dark nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Can't reach that brick. Any 
idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. And they weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility, so... Right. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. I can't reach that brick. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick.
Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry.
Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Find your friends and be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. Hey, Kim. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did, yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kenny. I got your back, pal. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway... I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Dinosaur was toast, but you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. It's just a walkie-talkie. It probably wasn't much use to begin with. It wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <sighs> Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. 
I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bears. Please! No more, please! 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 Ah!